Hello and welcome to another video. I had an idea that I wanted to play some of those really weird mobile game ads that you see floating around. But looking around on YouTube, I realized everyone has kind of already played through all of the popular ones. There's a lot of videos on it. So I thought of another idea. What if I tested every gaming related ad that was served to me within a 48 hour period? Now, there are some, some rules and stipulations here. I don't have a bunch of extra money. I don't have budget to throw around at this. So there were a lot of expensive ads for things like graphics cards, new chairs, new PC builds, things like that. I just ignored those. But there are games, gaming services, uh, products, and other things that we're going to jump into. So I spent 48 hours on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Uh, I pulled up IGN, I pulled up Reddit, and just took note of all of those and then started testing each one. Now, I didn't think about it until just now, but I didn't track influencers promoting things, you know, hashtag ad. So maybe for a follow-up, I will add that category as well. But to save you some time so you don't have to watch me doing that for 48 hours, here is a reenactment of what it looked like. So to start, I was obviously served a lot of ads for actual games. So I downloaded those games and I tried them out. One of the first ones was for the new Warzone 2 uh, Call of Duty. And I am actually really good at FPS games. So that went just incredible. We did it. That was good. 33rd. After I started seeing more and more of the same ads and actually a ton of just generic Nintendo ads, I started to wonder what the heck was going on. And then I remembered that I had shut off personal advertisements on Twitter due to you know, some recent changes the platform went through. There's neither here nor there. Uh, so I turned back on personalized ads. I removed some of the topics that advertisers had tagged me with on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Things that weren't really relevant anymore, just to kind of hone in those ads. Um, most often, I did not click on a specific ad because I did not want to be served more ads of that specific thing because I actually clicked. Um, I actually used to work in digital advertising, so super quick. From my experience, this is just how we classified it, there are two different types of online marketing, basically. There's retargeting, which is an ad served to you to get you to come back to do something you were already interested in, complete a sale you were already interested in, etc. They're retargeting you. And then there's prospecting, which is assigning people values uh, for interests that they have and saying this person would be maybe interested in this product that they've never clicked on or gone to the website, things like that. So just a little quick overview there. I saw the ad, wrote it down, and then came back after the 48 hours and typed in the website and looked it up. Continuing with the games, I received an ad for War Thunder, which, funny, was actually ignored on my uh, Steam profile going through my discovery queue, so that was great. Downloaded that, that was a huge game, and there's just a lot to it. It, it is really like a mobile game, but put on PC also. There's a lot of microtransactions, it seems. 
really the thing that caught me off guard the most is the game just threw me into the game when I opened it without saying much of anything. Fuck. Sh shit. What? Ah! This kid just threw me into the game. I haven't been able to, oh my god, change any settings or anything. Destroy the enemy aircraft. Okay, so now I have my settings where I think I want them. Um, if I change any more of the graphics settings, it makes me restart. So we'll kind of leave it where it is now. I'm guessing that these are the vehicles. I I don't know. Did one of my teammates just fly into the ground? Yeah, you have to kind of make sure you turn and keep things with your mouse, which is really interesting. Got some hits there. All right, we got a target destroyed. There, there, there is so much to this game that there's, there's no way I'm going to be able to include a lot in this. But gun jammed. What the frick? How am I supposed to fix that? I feel like you're you're getting gun jammed. I it, it would. would what do I do there? I'm number one. I'm number one. Look at that. Already conquered this game. On to the next one. Yeah, so these definitely... I mean, this is probably bots down here. And we were against all bots. I can just cut that out of the video. No, no one needs to know that. So about this time when I had fixed, you know, personalized ads, turned some things back on, um, I was served an ad for Red Bull. And as we all know, Red Bull is the best energy drink out there. So I you know, uh, got a Red Bull. I went ahead and purchased the Peach Nectarine, which is actually a favorite of mine. Uh, the new winter flavor, fig and whatever, is, is really good too. Hashtag not a sponsor. I am not sponsored by any of these. They just served me ads. So you're welcome, companies. After War Thunder, I was served an ad for something that I have actually been avoiding for a really long time, which was Genshin Impact. I've played some gacha games or similar on mobile in the past, but I never got into Genshin. I spent the time to download and try to install the another very big game, because Genshin is like 50 gigs for some reason, for the install to fail. So I looked up their help portal, and it seemed like they had various ways that installs have gone wrong in the past. Things like that. Genshin um, is not available on Steam. They have their own launcher, their own download, things like that. So I guess that makes sense. There can be more issues with a game that has its own launcher. I tried. I deleted all the files and tried to reinitialize. It wouldn't work. I wasn't going to sit and wait for it to download 50 gigs again. So I'm considering that one done for now. If you really want to see me play Genshin, let me know. Then I was served an ad for Game Pass, which was kind of great, actually. I'm already subscribed to Game Pass. I bought a Series X that included like two years or something like that. I have Game Pass until March 2023, I think. And uh, Warhammer 40k Darktide just came out, so... I downloaded Darktide, I played some games with a friend, and then I got some footage to include in this video. Um, it's a cool game. Uh, it's, you know, taking the previous Vermintide games and kind of improving on them. Um, there is 
obviously a little bit of repetitiveness in these kind of games but if you have friends to play it with it is a great co-op option this game one of the first things i noticed was the graphics are great and the detail on some of the enemies is really good in kind of a grotesque way which is just awesome um you, as you can see right here you can watch the the maggots popping off of this enemy it's just great i love it uh, being a big horror fan of course that's something i enjoy <laughs> oh <laughs> Game does not really like elevators very much. <laughs> Next up, I was served an ad for something Ubisoft was doing. I think it was specifically that you could get Splinter Cell for free. Um, so I went ahead and I downloaded Splinter Cell, added it to my library. Um, but by now, we all know what Splinter Cell looks like. I've played it in the past, but it's nice to have in my library now. So now let's take a break from some of the actual games that were advertised to me and look into some of the other items, things, services that were promoted to me. Um, I actually got a ton of ads for streaming services while I was doing this that I already have. Uh, Peacock, Disney+, Plus, things like that, just everywhere, especially I think on Facebook just all I was seeing. So one of the first ads I was served early on is for w.gg and I haven't pulled it up so we're going to pull it up for the first time in this video and kind of check it out. What the ad was saying was that they want to sponsor content creators of all sizes. So as I said earlier in the video, I didn't want to go to many of these websites or click on any of the ads because I didn't want it to influence the ads I was being served and overcome anything else and just flood my feed with that specific item. I went to this website to find uh, where they were offering sponsors or things for creators and I wasn't finding it on the main website, so I went back to my Facebook timeline and I was scrolling and I kid you not, after just going to this website, I was served another energy company that was looking to sponsor creators of all sizes, a clothing company that wanted uh, brand ambassadors, and then another random we sponsor creators of all sizes ad all from different companies within five minutes of going to this website. So that is why at the start I wrote these down and did not go to them until right now. But that doesn't help us get to where we are going for Dubby. So let's try to Google it. Dubby Energy Sponsor. So they do have a sponsorship page. Um, it looks like it is mostly hidden from the public, but it is indexed on Google. What if I go to their partner login and go to create account? Create account and apply. That goes to a different area though. What does this go to? Sponsorship. Yeah, so... This is indexed by Google, but it looks like it's not in their main navigation. Uh, so let's see here. To me, this is not a sponsorship. This is a affiliate program. And what that really is, is a company is getting almost free marketing out of you, if not free, to share their website, to share their products, in exchange for a 10% off and they give you a 10% kickback usually. Um, now there's a lot of companies that do this and if it's a company that you really believe in and you actually use, I don't really see a problem doing it. Um, I've actually done one or two in the past for companies that I really enjoyed. Um, I had spoken with the creators before 
and it was something I personally used, so I didn't mind sharing an affiliate link. But in my mind, it is not a sponsorship, so that is where I'm going to leave this one. Next, we're going to go to repeat.gg, which I don't really know what it is yet, so we're going to find out. There are some of these ads that aren't games, but are gaming related that I really do want to try out. Um, and this one here is to compete in free and paid entry tournaments in just a few clicks without any additional downloads. Okay, so it's a tournament service. Um, do they charge money is the question. Let's, let's see here. Okay, so this is actually pretty interesting. I did my checking around, surfed a little on Reddit, you know, read what people thought. I think I kind of figured out what the gambit is here. But first, when I found their FAQ, uh, they've been acquired by PlayStation. So they are actually owned by PlayStation now. And um, it says current PlayStation events and activations will remain independent of repeat and we'll be working with them in the future as opportunities arise. So that's pretty interesting there. What I think happens is how much does it cost me to play? Playing is free. We provide a free currency and you can earn that by logging in every day. If you wish to earn more, then visit the earn coins page. So I'm guessing you fill out surveys, watch ads, things like that, but I'm going to see if I can get into a tournament in a game I'm somewhat okay at anytime soon and make an account and all of that, and we'll come back to this a little later in the video. The next thing that we're talking about is I was served an ad for Lone Star Game Expo. I'm located in Texas. I have not looked up any information on this yet. I saved it for the video. Let's take a look. All right, so we 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 missed it. Okay, <laughs> Lone Star Game Expo was in Grapevine, Texas, on September thirtieth to October second. Um, uh, yeah, we're 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 a little past that. Um, which is funny because it's December 9th right now, and I'm pretty sure I started this video. After Thanksgiving, I did the 48 hours, so... Okay, they uh, forgot to turn off their ads, or they just want people to see it and be ready for next year. I could have checked this out, but I was definitely served the ad way after October 2nd, so... The final not-actual-game gaming ad I was served was DPS games. Once again, I don't know what this is. Uh, DPS games is a fresh new branch of the Almighty Wargaming Group. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's been 107,856 hot drinks consumed. Uh, sign up now for your chance to participate in new action packed multiplayer game. Huh. Okay. This is a studio? Okay. Interesting. This is actually pretty cool. I was not expecting this at all. Uh, they're looking for playtesters for a 15v15 battle uh, for humanity survival. Um, I've done playtests in the past. I really like testing out betas, alphas, all of that. So I'm going to try it out. There will probably be an NDA, as it says right there. So I don't know if I'll be able to put that in this video, but if you're interested, dpsgames.com is pretty cool. For a quick update, the specific game that they are wanting playtesters for is Tomorrow Falls. So as you can see here, I have submitted for the playtest. And if I can talk about it any time in the future, I will. So we have two or three more games, I think, that were advertised to me in the 48-hour period. And then we have to see what happens with the repeat.gg and if I can jump into a tournament, if I can win anything. 
So let's check out the next game. The last two games that I saw ads for were both mobile games. And as you may or may not know, I have been playing a lot of Marvel Snap. But what if I didn't? And instead, I played WWE Super Card Battle Cards. Let's check it out. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble for playing this. We'll just play a little clip, but I like how the, the clip that's shown here, it's just the cards, like, static, fighting against each other. Like, not <laughs> animated any differently or anything else. Just the cards, like cardboard, fighting each other. Create Creative decision, I guess. After this game, we will be trying a One Punch Man mobile game. I don't know anything about it. Don't know what it plays like, any of that. So, should be interesting as well. And then... After we tackle those two, we're gonna win a tournament, right? Hopefully, maybe. I tell you what, the trouble I just went through to play this game and get it working on Bluestacks and get it capturing on OBS. <sighs> Let's have some fun. Welcome to WWE Supercard. Since you're new around here, let's start with your name. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at me. Kohlrabi right there. That's exactly what I look like. I sure hope uh, the music played in this game doesn't get me in trouble. Male Solo. You should always try to pick the best card for the job. This match uses power and charisma. Put me in the ring and I'll take care of it. Okay. Tap anywhere to fast forward. I don't know. I don't know about this one, y'all. <laughs> Alright, now the crowd is calling out for a female solo match. It's my turn. I'm not really sure if that's how wrestling works. I, I basically completed the intro, and uh, you get open packs, so, you know, that's cool. We got a manager, and uh, let's play uh, another match. We can't draft anymore. We need 10 coins or 10 whatever, and that costs money. Uh, you can watch ads, of course, um, all those normal options. Uh, they have wild and pvp king of the ring okay so we have our cards that we've earned so far uh we're gonna play an actual match there's missions and things that you do to unlock more uh but this is really the the basic gameplay here uh it tells you which Stats are going to be good for the round, and then <laughs> this is the fight. I just, I just can't with this, though. <laughs> like, I feel like they made this game without having to involve any of the wrestlers. Because I haven't heard any sound effects or voice lines or anything like that from the actors yet, I don't think. I'm sure if you're a fan of wrestling, um, this might be pretty cool to collect the cards, you know, and it is a free mobile game, but the gameplay and everything is just not doing it for me. I, I don't know why, but <laughs> the way that the cards like pretend to be wrestlers and stuff just uh, throws it off for me. <laughs> like, look at that. I won. Well, <laughs> let's try One Punch Man. This one is looking a little more promising. I did notice there were a couple different One Punch Man games on the App Store, but this icon is definitely the one that was advertised to me. So let's jump right in. Vaccine Man is a dragon level villain. What? Why is Vaccine Man a villain? Pretty cool whatever's happening 
I mean, there there are a lot of games that are made like this, but I feel like this one has some good art, some really good animations. Okay. I see why he's called a uh, vaccine man now. He needs to rid the earth of the virus that is humans. I can, I can get down with it. Is it going to take one punch? <laughs> How are they going to make a game out of this if it's just one punch every time? That's a Kendama. That's not a sword. <laughs> I didn't realize it was... I thought it was just like a hammer with a smiley face on the top. That's straight up a Kendama. Interesting. And then we get these. Oh, now we have to fight the boss. So I can't really move around at all. It does just kind of give you the illusion of exploring around, at least for now. It's just clicking on enemies and it kind of slides you to the side. I mean, why not? Let's see what happens. Got the one behind him. Is this just a single target attack? Let's get rid of the ads. <laughs> I do like Smile Man. Wind Blade Kick. Owie. And then I get hit by a crowbar. Ooh, that critical strike hurt. Oh, so close to being done. Get it, get it. Ooh. So obviously, I just played some of these games rather quickly to test them out. Uh, I wanted to make sure that this video wasn't too absolutely long with everything that I was served an ad for. Um, but some of these things I'll continue to use going forward and see how they play out. Some of the games I will keep playing. For the One Punch Man game, it seemed pretty interesting. Um, maybe once it opens up further, I could check it out a little bit. But there's just so many games going on right now. So little time. Plot twist. I am now a professional Fortnite player. I have entered a tournament for Fortnite and I have won money. Damn it. <laughs> 12 isn't too bad, though. I'm not too bad about that. My prize winnings just happened to be a mere 25 cents. I had every intention of just quickly signing up for a tournament, jumping in, playing a couple games, seeing how it calculated, and then calling it good. But after looking around, testing some other games, I spent the weekend actually competing in a Fortnite tournament. So currently Warzone is not one of the active games on repeat.gg because of some Activision API issues. I think it is coming back this week, but it wasn't available when I was filming this. I looked around at their available games currently, uh, Fortnite, League of Legends, Brawl Stars, Dota 2, PUBG are currently what's available. I didn't know what Brawl Stars was when I was first looking into this. Looked it up, found out it is a battle royale kind of mobile game. And so I was like, sweet, I'll download a mobile game. I'll play it casually, sign up for the tournament. It'll all be good. So got through the tutorial and then looked at the available tournaments and they are all 
Power League tournaments. And to unlock Power League, you have to get somewhere around 4,500 trophies in the game. I played about 10 games and had under 100 trophies. So, wasn't going to happen that weekend. Didn't want to install PUBG again after all everything I downloaded during this video. And... I recently updated Fortnite for the new season. I haven't played it at all yet. I haven't learned anything about it. So I was like, whatever. I'll sign up for a Fortnite tournament, test it out. What I didn't know before doing so and committing mentally is it was a build mode tournament. And I think almost all of the tournaments are in build mode. I don't like building. I'm not good at it. I don't want to get good at it. So I had a steep curve ahead of me. But I did it. It takes your top 10 best games and then gives you a score. The problem that I had during this is I played a lot more than 10 games. I think if you look here, I played 2, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 19, 23. And the reason for that was I kept waiting for the update and it would say I had played 4 out of 10 and then 7 out of 10. And I think my issue was there were some games where I scored 0 points, so it wasn't counting them. When I started this, I just wanted to do 10, call it good, just see where I landed and, and be done with it. Once I started to get going, I had to get the 10 out of 10 that actually counted, and I placed 819 out of 2043, which I'm, I'm fine with. I did not practice, I do not like build mode, much prefer no build, and... It was, it was cool. The website works really well. It was easy to sign up, quick to jump in, and they actually have another one of these tournaments starting on December 16th. You just like playing these games, you want to be a little more competitive. It's a pretty valid website to sign up and, and earn a little bit. There is some fierce competition in the Fortnite tournaments. There are people who join that they do this, I, I'm pretty sure for a living, or at least they have pretty decent size prize pools to their name so that's just something to be aware of but it was a lot of fun when warzone comes back maybe i'll give it a try and see how well i can do i really don't want to play build fortnite though <laughs> i found this to be pretty interesting so if you have any ideas on ways you would like to see it done again or if i should do it a couple months in the future and do it a little differently just let me know and as always, if you enjoyed, subscribe. It lets me know to make more videos like this. And uh, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.